Finally getting to the bottom of this uh, radio's flatulence issues. Now before, whenever he turned it off, it let one off. As you heard there, it's not doing it anymore. What it was, was this capacitor here, which one of them is the cathode bypass cap there. It's not open circuit, but it's not very good. I bridged it with that for a minute. Now if I take that off, all of a sudden we've got instability issues and flatulence, which although it's great fun, it's quite annoying. It seems a shame to get rid of it, but once we replace that, it should be absolutely fine. That's it, farting is cured. It looks a bit of a bodge, but it'll do. Louis an Arsenal fan, Louis. See, no barks. Arteta deserves more time. Arsenal going to win the Champions League in five years. Oh, hello, hi, Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. 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 Obviously, start with a cup game, want to get through to the next Sounds round. All right. And then come. Doesn't foul it anymore. No, but I believe that with the hard work we've got. What did you ask us? So, I was listening. Not the loudest of radios in the world, but it's all right. We're about three portable. Two games, you get to go see. There you go, there's what's inside. Probably see one of the valves sort of glowing there a little bit. Mm. That's space for some batteries, you see. But I'm running it off, uh, off of these at the moment. And there is space in the back here for a mains lead. There we go, still coiled up in there. Not connected though. I haven't bothered putting the plug on yet. Change a lot of caps and things underneath there as well. You can probably see most of the replacements. I know they're not the most attractive replacements, but they'll do the job rather nicely. The selection of some of the bits that I had to change in it. Yes, yeah, so I even had to change the output transformer. That's what was fitted. It's clearly not right. I managed to find a boxed new direct replacement, which you can just about see it there. Isn't it? Fits perfectly. Had to make a bracket for it though, because somebody had uh, thrown that away when they changed it for that one, which was held in with a bit of uh, coiled up elastic band. That was the box for the replacement. <laughs> Seemed a shame to unbox it actually, but I ain't got anything else, so I had to use it. I'll keep the box in there though. Probably stick all the dead components in it. I don't know if you can see back there as well, but the chassis was very rusty and somebody had painted it with some horrible silvery anti-rust paint type crap, which took a bit of a shift in as well. You still see some of it on that valve there. They'd literally just daubed it on everywhere and made a right ready mess. That thing's still covered in it as well, that springy bit there. The paint on the speaker was also flaking and uh, peeling off. So I had to pull that all to pieces and respray it and stick the comb back down. Sounds a lot better for it though because the coil was rubbing it sounded crap before. There's still a few cosmetic issues to sort out. Somebody's nicked the original scale glass and the uh, scale at the back there is uh, still suffering from rust. I've been working on a printout to stick over the top of it and I haven't got around to it yet. And also, the handle thingies need repainting. Could do with a bit of a polish as well, actually. I did do it a while ago, but it needs it again. The other common feature of these is always these slats being broken at the back. 
Somebody's had a go at gluing a bit back in there. They've not done a very nice job of it. There's arrow blight everywhere. I'll have to clean that off at some point. Sport at the Brentford Community Stadium. But those games between now and Liverpool, there's some points.